Brian from Spark Yours, and this is Myeloma Trials Explained. I'm here today to talk about an interesting observational trial called Mass Accumulation Rate as a Predictive Biomarker for Treatment Selection in Multiple Myeloma. Now, I know that sounds like a mouthful, and it is. So we're going to simplify this and take a deeper look into what this trial is really all about. The study is being run by a company called Trevera, and the ultimate goal is to see if they can successfully develop a test that measures how effective various myeloma treatments could be in fighting your myeloma before you actually receive those treatments. The test works by using a portion of your bone marrow biopsy, but it doesn't require an additional procedure. The nice thing about this trial is that they'll take some additional material at the same time they perform a bone marrow biopsy as part of your routine care. And to give you some background, an amazing group of researchers at MIT created a device which in fancy medical terms is called a suspended microchannel resonator. But for the rest of us, we can think of this as a tool that in basic terms is able to measure the mass of an individual cancer cell with pinpoint accuracy. Here's an image of the device and you can see just how tiny it is compared to a penny. And the ability to measure the mass of an individual cancer cell is important because a discovery was made in partnership with Dana-Farber Cancer Institute that when treatment is effective or is working to kill a cancer cell, that cancer cell loses a tiny amount of mass. And for anyone like myself, who may not recall our 8th grade science class, mass is the amount of matter or stuff inside of an object, or in this case, inside of a myeloma cell. So when treatment is effective against the cancer cell, that cell loses a small amount of mass or some of the matter inside of it. This clinical trial will use a patient's myeloma cells from the bone marrow sample and will pass them one by one through a tiny channel within the device over and over again. As it goes through the device, the myeloma cell will be exposed to a different type of myeloma therapy. The cell's mass is continuously being measured by tiny sensors within the device. The simple explanation is that if the mass of the cell decreases, it may mean that specific therapy could be effective as a treatment for that patient's myeloma. As of June 2021, the study requires that you must be proceeding under one of these therapies listed here, either as a monotherapy, meaning by itself, or a combination of these drugs listed here. As part of this observational trial, you will not receive any results reported back to you, but the goal of the trial is for the future, to see if this device is capable of accurately predicting which treatments could be most effective for each individual patient who has the test. The trial is broken down into separate cohorts, or groups of patients. The first group is for newly diagnosed, untreated patients, and the second is for patients who have had prior treatment and their myeloma has returned or gotten worse. It's important to note that there's no direct medical benefit or additional cost to you for participating. Patients in this study will not receive the report of their results, so you're participating solely for the benefit of developing this test for future use. If you'd like to learn more about this trial or connect for an appointment to be evaluated, you can visit our site at sparkcures.com. As always, we're here to help, so please call us with any questions at 888-828-2206. This is Myeloma Trials Explained from Spark Cures. Thanks for watching. Thank you.